What up, y'all? Welcome back to another collection update video. So today I'm gonna be showing um, all the games that I've got recently over the past few months. I was gonna do one a while ago, but I just uh, kind of wanted to wait. So I decided to do one today. I was gonna wait because last year game is coming out in uh, at the end of this month. Stella Blade. I was gonna wait for that, but I can always show that in another video. So. I'm going to go ahead before I start forgetting what I picked up recently. Hopefully, all the stuff I got right here, I didn't forget to do it. Because the last video I did a while ago, so. But I just I just got to I just gotta do it now so I don't forget. So, first up, AW Fight Forever. I'm just going to show the front size this time. Just to, just to make it look quick. I don't want to drag on too long. AW is a good game. Um. It's a good game, good wrestling game, a good alternative to WWE. It's like a, a old school uh, reminiscent of like SmackDown vs. Raw. It comes with pain type of games. If you like the arcade style, if you don't like the simulation style of WWE game, 2K games, uh, for, go for them. Why not try it? I think it's pretty good. I don't think it's as good as 2K games, but I think it's still pretty good for what it is. Next up, this isn't really a game. It's just something I just got for the lows. Not really for the lows. It's just because I... I don't know, I just thought it was, was kind of silly. I just got just for the collection, just for the hell of it. But anyways, Big Chungus. Yeah, it's not a real game at all. I'll show you the back to this one because it's kind of silly. So, um, let me figure out. Okay. So this is basically Fortnite right here. This is like a Fortnite screen, uh, like Fortnite select screen thing for the characters and stuff. Super Mario, Super Mario, Super Smash Bros. Look at the stage. It's but yeah, I just thought it was silly. And then you got a PlayStation 4 back. I, it was PS5, but I, was supposed to, I don't know why they didn't do the PS5. But it, was, it is what it is. And then, <laughs> ready for Big Chungus. It's funny. But I just thought it was a silly, a silly thing. Um, yeah. That, I mean, yeah. Anyways, next up. The Chant. And so far, I haven't played a lot of this game. But I'm liking it so far. It's a third person horror game. Psychological horror game. About this rich about this uh cult this chick she uh her friend invited her to a cult to kind of uh, to this getaway to uh try to forget about her past and realize it's like a cult and there's a bunch of weird stuff that happened it's pretty cool though it's some it's some combat to it too i i recommend it if you're in a horror horror game next up cyberpunk 2077 ultimate edition and this is the complete, oh, all right, well, let me go ahead. Well, I guess I'll just show you guys the backs and sides. The AW. I right, showed you the big chungus one. And this is the chant. But uh, Cyberpunk, yes, complete edition, it's not broken anymore. Uh, it got the Phantom Liberty included in it. It's a download code unless you, if you get it on Series X, it's a it's a, uh, a um if you get it on a Series X, it's it's on the disc. But if you get on PS4, five, I mean, it's a download code. I know a lot of people don't really care for that, but I mean, I don't care. At least you don't got to pay for it. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I recommend it. it's a pretty good game. Uh, it's a uh, It's how it should have been when it first came out. But um, it's a really good game. It reminds me of Dead Sex. But like a little bit of a... Uh, maybe Dishonored. Kind of. I don't know. But like I said, I recommend it. it it's perfect time to pick it up now. The complete edition. Next up is Dragon Ball The Breakers. Uh, special edition. It's supposed to say special edition. It's, it's custom case. It's actually not really made for the PS5. It's only a PS4 uh, Xbox game. Xbox One game and Switch. But um, I got it custom made because I wanted it. I don't know why they didn't make a PS5 version. The PS5 was out when it came out. Uh, they, and they're doing a PS5 version of um, Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters, and um, Stellar Blade. So I, that's why I was just like, but I mean, not Stellar Blade, but uh, Xenoverse 2. So. And they did one for Kakarot, so why not the breakers? I mean, it still could, but 
Um, I just got custom made. Uh, it looks pretty good, you know. The back is a little bit blurry, but I, I tried to get them to copy the PS4 version. And I got the PS4 version just so I can get this code. Um, I sold it though. Well, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, great game. It's fun. A lot of people may not like it. But me and my friends have a, have a blast with it. It's, it's definitely a fun game. I recommend it if you're a Dragon Ball fan. If you're about Daylight, it's like a little spin twist on it. It's dope. It's really fun. Once you, especially when you have people play with it. Next up, Eternites or Eternites. Not sure. An interesting action RPG. Kind of reminds me of a... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It reminds me of something. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. But it's, it's an interesting game. Uh, the graphics are horrible. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of looks like a uh, I don't say it looks kind of like a PS2 game to be honest with you. Well, I don't say PS2, like an early 360 PS3 game. Um, and um, it's uh, there's about this dude, he gets his arm cut off, and his arm is like a weapon now. He can transform it into certain stuff, he can transform it into a sword or into a whatever. Um, and like people are turning into monsters and stuff, and you gotta figure out what's going on. It's it's pretty interesting. You got kind of dating sims in it too, a dating sim uh uh mechanic in there kind of. But anyway, like, it's it's pretty cool. It's, it's better than I expected. Uh, besides the graphics, but I don't care too much as long as the gameplay is play. <sighs> Next up, it's the finals, and this is the custom case. Well, not too bad actually. I really like the finals. I, it's it's definitely a, a fun game. A, definitely an underrated shooter for sure. Um, at first, when I first played, I was like, I mean, that's cool and all. But then when I, when I got back into it and started playing it, I was like, this junk is really fun. Really fun. It's difficult. It can be difficult, but it's fun. It definitely, you know, I'll take it over Call of Duty. Definitely. And I like Call of Duty, but I I I, I like it better. I, def I re definitely recommend it's a free game. Next up, Final Fantasy Security, Security Breach. I haven't played too much of this, but I do like what I play. I know a lot of people didn't like it too much. They said the DLC was way better than the actual game, but what I've been playing, I, I I've been enjoying it. It's 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 a uh, um it's a little bit difficult for me because I keep getting lost trying to figure out what to do. Not difficult and like it's hard and keep dying or whatever. It's just I don't know what to do. Um, but it's a good game. I recommend it. Next up, if you like the Final Fantasy Freddy series, uh, Fortnite the Last Live Bundle. This is Fortnite. It's a download code inside. Is uh no disc. It's a download code. Um. Um, but yeah, Fortnite's free to play. You can download it for free. I just got it not not because I really care for the skins like that. Just because this is the first official Fortnite retail version for the PS5, so I just wanted to get it just, uh, for that reason alone. Excuse me. And on seventy bucks because it's hard to find now. I could got it on eBay. I could have got like a newer version that's you can find at Walmart or something now probably. But that's the version I wanted. But anyways, it's Fortnite. I mean, it's basically Roblox now. I'm not even Fortnite anymore. It's just made it into Roblox. But it's still fun. Next up, Godfall. Godfall's okay. I don't think it's as bad as everyone says. It has potential. Uh, I, I haven't played a lot of it, but I think it's 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 pretty cool. I mean, it's not the best. They're not you know nothing that's you know just out the blowing out the water. It's definitely, uh, not, I don't think that, like I said, it's as bad as everyone says it is. I recommend it. You can get it for 10 bucks. Next up, Haunted House. This is a remake or a remaster. Remake? I think it was a remake of the original. Uh, I'm tired. I haven't. 
played uh, the original. I don't really know much about this game, but I thought it looked interesting. Kind of reminded me of Luigi's Mansion. So I was like, I'm gonna try it out. And it's fun. It's top down. It's like a top down Luigi's Mansion. Not completely top down, but well, yes, yeah, it's, it's yes, yeah, it's, it's more it's it's top down, but not like like Diablo type of top down or like you know. But uh, I think it's a good game. I recommend it if you're in Luigi's Mansion. Next up, Horizon Forbidden West Launch Edition. I want to play the game so much. I never beat the first one, but I just want to play this game. Uh, it's a phenomenal game. One of the best looking games I've played thus far on PS5. Um, I recommend it highly if you like the first one. Um, it's just fun. It's, 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 it's a fun game, man. I mean, it definitely, I can't wait for part three. I haven't beaten this one yet, but I got to go back and beat the first one. I know they're remaking the first one. Who knows when it's going to come out, but it's a fun game. Next up, this is Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Class. I actually got this on launch. But I haven't played it that much. And this, I, I, well, a lot of people didn't like it, but personally, I like it. It's fun. Um, a little bit of learning curve to it. Kind of like My Hero ones, just as games. But you, it's not as combo heavy. It's, it's really, like, it's really limited. <sighs> Sorry, y'all. It's really limited on combos that you can do, on the combos that you can do, but it's fun. The, the domain expansion that some characters can do is fun. It's definitely unique with the 2v2. It's definitely, I think it's a cool game. It's unique, but it's just, um, it's just, um, whatchamacallit, just not that. Honestly, when it first came out, I tried to go online. It was a little bit late, but it wasn't that late, and I couldn't even find a match. So I was like, dang, it's dead already. But not many people are too optimistic about it. I don't think people really talk about it anymore. I mean, they haven't said nothing about DLC, so I'm a little concerned. But they, there is some offline modes you can play by yourself. So there's no local co-op, which sucks. I think that's going to be the new norm for anime games. So Spark and Zero isn't going to have it either. But yeah, it is what it is. Next up, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered. Another game I picked up day one. On launch. Um... Um, amazing game. I haven't beaten it. I played a little bit of it on the PS4. Well, I played a decent amount actually. I'm actually didn't make it to where I'm at, to where I was at on the PS4 on, on this version yet. But I want to beat it so I can go ahead and play the um, No Return mode. But I love The Last of Us. The Last of Us One is one of my favorite games of all time. I don't care. A lot of people don't like Two as a story. I I, I enjoy it. I already know, you know, I, I've been enjoying it. I already know a lot, a little bit of what happened. Not fully, but, I, I, I mean, I'm at the part where Joel died and with Abby and all that, but it's it, I, phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. That's all I'm going to say. Next up is the Light Brigade uh, Collector's Edition. And yeah, this is a PSVR 2 game, a PlayStation VR 2 game. I have a VR 2. I'll show you that uh, shortly. Um, I just recently got one like a month ago, but yeah, it's a, it's pretty cool. It's a it's a what's the game? It's a roguelike shooter, first person shooter. It's it's hard actually. I I couldn't even get past the beginning because I keep dying. Like it, it's definitely hard, but it's it's fun. It's fun. Uh, it's, I mean, it's all I can really say. I recommend it. I mean, I think it's a, a good VR game, so I recommend it. Next up. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Great game. I, played, I, I, I got a day one on Xbox when I had a Series S. And honestly, I wasn't too excited about the game. I wasn't... Uh, I saw it. I was like, oh, it looks cool, I guess. I don't really care. I just went with it. I just was like, I'm going to just pre-order it. Um, and I freaking enjoyed it. Man, I, I never beat it. I'm glad I had it. Cause I, you know, even if I did, I would have gotten it again on PS5. But... Uh, it's, it's an amazing game. It's really funny, fun, dope. Uh, it looks great. Underrated. Underrated, definitely. Aside from, like, Spider-Man and... I mean, what other Marvel games is there? Besides Spider-Man, Midnight Suns, and... Uh, uh, Avengers. Marvel Guardians of the Galaxy, I probably the best one. 
behind Spider-Man, Spider-Man games. Like I said, there's much competition. I mean, Midnight Suns is good too. And so I think Avengers is pretty, is, is not as bad as everyone says as well. But anyway, speaking of Marvel Midnight Suns, that's the next game. Marvel Midnight Suns Enhanced Edition. But I think this is a pretty good underrated game too. It's a turn-based RPG. Um, and honestly, I didn't know, I was never excited for that game either. I just went and bought it. It was cheap. Uh, at Best Buy for 20 bucks. I was like, I'm gonna just go with it. my brother said it was good. And I, I, I'm not too. And he said, I thought, cause I th he said it was like XCOM, and I, I, XCOM is cool, but I'm just not the biggest fan of top down. So I thought it was a top down game like XCOM, and then it's not as over the shoulder and it's like a tactical RPG. I was like, okay, this is dope. So, yeah, um, it's dope. So, I recommend it. Next up, Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales Ultimate Launch Edition. As y'all can see, uh, it's a slit right here. I got it brand new from eBay and it came like that. I don't know. That's the second game I got. I remember in one of my last videos, I, same thing that happened with Babylon's Fall, except it was slit across the, the front of the case. So I'm eventually gonna get a new one, but um, I don't know why it does that. It was sealed. I don't know, I don't know why, how, but I don't like my games to be like that. I like them to be in the best condition possible, but you know, it is what it is right now, so I'm not tripping about it right now. But anyway, Marvel Spider-Man, dope game. I know it comes with the remastered version, as y'all can see. There's digital code, download, uh, and then Miles Morales. I never, I, I, I got uh, the original Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, back in 2018 when it first came out on PS4. I never beat. I started to get a little bored from it because it was kind of repetitive, but. I made it pretty far, but I'm gonna go ahead and beat it again, remastered, complete version. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go through Miles Morales and then eventually get two, Spider-Man 2. But uh, great game, man. It, it's definitely a great superhero game, great Spider-Man. I, I recommend it. Next up, the game I just recently got, we got Last Trials. It's just so fun with friends. It's actually a custom case as well. It's digital download only. Uh, fun. Fun, uh, take on a horror multiplayer, uh, a multiplayer horror game. Got the Outlast feel to it, except you're with friends, but it's still gonna be scary. Uh, I recommend it. I recommend it. Uh, yeah, each map is a little different. You do different objectives, different enemies. You got harder versions of different maps. You can customize your character. It's fun. It's definitely fun. Next up, the quarry. And now, with the quarry, and even with the Dark Pictures games, I still don't think nothing has, is, and none of those are better than Until Dawn, although there's some that came close, like House of Ashes, <laughs> Devil in Me, in my opinion, and the quarry. The quarry, I'll put it in top three. It, that'll probably be number two, and then uh, House of Ashes, I like, don't worry, don't get me wrong, it was great, but it, it, a little disappointed me a little bit. I expected it to be kind of scary, creepy. House of uh, Devil in Me, I think, is the best uh, dark spe dark pictures because it kind of kept you guessing, like, oh, it was suspense, like, oh, there's just not know what's going to happen, this and that. So I thought it was cool. Kind of, I'll give that the number three spot. The Corey, I like. It wasn't scary, but I just liked the, the characters, the different, you know, the. The, the the werewolf thing I thought it was cool uh, I beat it once already on PC so I'm, I'm I'm almost close to beating it again on PS5 great game until now I can't wait for the remaster uh, next year I wish it would have came this year but I'm looking forward to it great game I highly recommend it next up I actually just got this today as I'm filming this video um Resident Evil 4, great game. I played the original, never beaten it, but the remake is amazing. It's amazing, it's a masterpiece. I got I got pretty far, I got it on PC first, I got pretty far on it, I never beat it. I got it on PS5 because it's uh, better on PS5 than on my, on my PC. Uh, so, 
I also got it because I want another VR game to play. So what I play through on PC, I'm playing VR, and I'll probably, unless I'm really enjoying the VR, I'll probably just go back in the regular mode and play through the rest of the game, or I might just put it on VR, who knows? Maybe just play it twice, regular than VR, I don't know, but amazing game. I recommend it Resident Evil 5. Next up, Returnal. This game is hard. When you die, you have to start all over. No, I better try it a few times. He, he he literally deleted the game. I, I still got it. I'm, I'm going to go through it again, but I don't want to get frustrated right now. So I haven't touched it in a while, but fun game. Next up, Sonic Frontiers. Underrated Sonic game. I think this is the best. Behind uh, Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Or is that Sonic Adventure 2 Battle? Best 3D Sonic game. Okay, I don't know. It was Unleashed. Even though I only played the demo, the one I played, that game was dope. Uh, one of the best 3D Sonic games. Uh, open world, well, open world-ish, kind of open zone, like different areas. Um, great music. It was a Sonic quote. It was always my great music. Uh, I like the different ability. Like Sonic has a skill tree. You can get different abilities, which is cool. I hope they make a part two. I haven't gotten too far into it, but I hope they kind of continue with that. Make a part two. Um, and expand upon it, you know, it's it have great potential. It can be great if they just keep expanding upon that. They want to really elevate their 3D Sonic games. Next up, controversial one. But, I don't care. Suicide Squad 2 Justice League. I also got this on launch. Same day as Jujutsu Kaisen. And I, I, I play, I haven't beaten it yet. I put a lot, of, I got like 25 hours into it. I just started playing other stuff. Other stuff was coming out. I just I went back to playing other stuff. But I'm definitely gonna get back into it. I know Joker just came out for free. I gotta I, I gotta beat the story so I, I so, so I can go ahead and play through that story so I can um unlock Joker, but because I don't wanna pay for him. Uh fun game. I, I think it's fun to say I don't care what people say, I don't care about the negative. I, I when I first saw the the gameplay reveal, I was like, man, it looked fun. Even as they kept showing, I still thought it looked fun. It still is fun. The graphics are amazing. The different skins that you get, the different dialogue, the story. I think the gameplay is fun. Like I don't care what people say. It's a fun game. I've been enjoying it, and that's all that matters. Don't care what people say. If you like a game, just like it. Don't give a hell. Don't give a damn what others say about about it. Like people try to try to trash you because you don't got the same opinion as them. Just because they don't like it, they want you to not like it. I'm like no. Bro, oh, oh, great. I think it's a great game. I don't care. I don't. Next up, Tekken 8. Another game I picked up on launch. This, this, Tekken. Now, it's Tekken 6, Street Fighter, uh, I said Tekken 6. Street Fighter 6, Tekken 8, MK1. Uh, MK1. Don't get me wrong, it's a great game. I like it a lot. I don't care what people say about that either. I know a lot of people say, oh, this sucks. Oh, this 11 is better. Or whatever. I think it's the best MK game to date. Tekken, but between the three, it's definitely not the better fighting game. And it's still kind of a toss up between Tekken and Street Fighter, but I might have to give it the edge a little bit over Tekken. I love the music. Definitely the better music of the three. The, game, uh, the gameplay. The, the 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 depth of, of of each character, the amount of characters, the graphics is just amazing, and the story was amazing. Now I think MK got the best story. Street Fighter story is just whatever, but the character creator definitely is better in Street Fighter. Uh, but overall. I'll give the slight edge over Tekken, just because it's amazing. The customization is better than all than all than other other two as well. I definitely recommend if you're a Tekken fan, if you're a fighting game fan, if you're a yeah. I mean that's, that's all. I recommend it. Next up, Tribes of Midgar Deluxe Edition. There's another game I got just for the cheap, for the low. Uh. uh it's okay. 
It's a top-down game as well. It's kind of like, I guess Diablo. I don't really know. Uh, I am missing something. Now that I think about it. Uh, uh, but it's okay. It's um, it's kind of you, you can build stuff, craft stuff, uh, find different armor and stuff. It's okay. I haven't really played much of it because. It's, it's just okay. I'm gonna just say that. It's okay. One second. I'm gonna grab a coke. Okay. Right, make sure y'all see. Well, There's a game I forgot to grab. Uh, and NFL 22. I mean, it's mad. What else can you say? It's uh, just another Madden game. Nothing that spectacular about it. Nothing different from the previous years. So if you're a Madden fan, I recommend that. Most likely, you'll probably end up getting 24 instead of getting the older one. Unless you just don't care like me and like to get, you know, just, just to have one, just to play. I got 21 too, but I just, you know, just got that one just because I don't care about having the newest sports games unless it's wrestling. But next up is The Walking Dead, Chapter 2. The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, Chapter 2, Retribution, Perfect Edition. Yeah, that's a long title. This actually came in a steel book. Actually, I'm going to show you. It came in a steel book, and it's dope. I'm not the biggest fan of steel books. That's how it came when I got it from Best Buy. But like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of steel books, so I got it custom made so they can make it like that. Uh, it did come with a couple inserts. Uh, now he made it, it's great. Great looking. Uh, only thing is he didn't put the, the VR logo on the side like the VR game is supposed to have. So he said, He'll next time I order from him, he'll do that. He'll make another copy for free. So Which I think is pretty cool and I appreciate him for that. So you know I'm not chipping about it that much right now, but eventually, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But great, uh it's a great game. That's what, Honestly, that's probably the best VR game I've played thus far. I don't, I don't know, Resident Evil 4 might beat that. Next up, WWE 2K22. I have 23. Uh, I showed it out 23. 22 is just as good, but 23 is. I mean, 22 is good too, but 23 is just better. And then, last but not least, WWE 2K24, which is something I also got. Day one, I, like I said, wrestling games are the only games I like to have the newest version of because I, I love wrestling, I love WWE. Um, great improvement this year over 23. I thought it was going to be slight, like quality, quality quality of life improvements, like from 22 to 23, but it is, but it's still a lot more to it. It's, it's amazing. I recommend it if you're a wrestling fan. It's the best 2K game today, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, great game. Oh, and uh, last but not least, actually is the VR2. Headphones hanging from it. Yeah, it comes with uh, headphones built in. Um, and these are the controllers. But yeah, that's it. And I appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for this. Uh, watching this, if you stuck with me the whole time, please like, subscribe, comment if you want to see any gameplay, see me go more in depth about some, any recommendations you have for me, any recommendations you want me to get to you, just uh, put it down in the comment section below. Please, like I said, like and subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for the next video. I'll probably do another update later this year. And I like I said, at the end of the year, I'm going to do a full collection video of what I got, everything I what I got. So just stay tuned, y'all. Peace out.